Alright, hi everyone, my name is Casey from Home Quarters and today's episode we are talking about additional buyer stamp duty. You understand why additional buyer stamp duty come about? How does it affect you? And also, how does it affect the residential property purchase? For ABSD, or we call it additional buyer stamp duty, it is liable for buyers to pay on top of the buyer stamp duty on a purchase property. A lot of people are very interested in the additional buyer stamp duty topic because as at 6 of July 2018, there is a, actually a change in the additional buyer stamp duty rate. Let's talk about the changes that are affecting us uh, from the 6 of July 2018. Actually, if you are a first time buyer, this actually does not apply to you or does not affect you if you are a Singaporean or a PR that is staying in Singapore. Who does it affect? It affects uh, investors that are buying the second property onwards, right? both for Singaporean and Singapore PR and also foreign entity buying residential property. On 6th of July 2018, there is an increase of 5% across the board for second property onwards for Singaporean citizens and also Singaporean permanent residents. As um, compared to foreigners and entity, there is also an increase of 5% on top of whatever they had to pay previously for additional buyer stamp duty. Also for entity buying residential real estate, if let's say they are developers, they are also an additional on top of whatever increase that they are they need to pay, there is also another 5% charge that is non-refundable that will be charged to the developer. This is part of the cooling measure that is implemented by our government to cool the market down because probably they feel that the real estate market is warming up too quickly for comfort. So for all of you that is wondering out there, let me break it down by segment. If you are a Singaporean citizen watching this video today, for your first property, there is absolutely no additional buyer stamp duty. Right? So don't be afraid for first time buyer out there, this will not affect you. However, if you are a Singapore citizen looking to buy a second property for investment or for state purpose, you will be charged a 12% additional buyer stamp duty as opposed to the previously charged 7% additional buyer stamp duty rate. That will be an increase of 5% of uh, additional buyer stamp duty. For Singapore citizen, if you are looking to buy a third residential property onwards, you'll be charged a total of a 15% additional buyer stamp duty on top of your usual buyer stamp duty. This could mean that the additional cost involved in securing a unit will increase from there. Next up, we have Singapore permanent residence. The first property, right, it stays the same at 5% of the property value. If you are looking to buy a second property onwards, then you will be charged a 15% additional buyer stamp duty. Right, so take note of that. Subsequently, third, fourth purchase onwards is going to be the same as 15% additional buyer stamp duty rate. For foreigner buying a residential property, or uh, even on the first one, you will be charged a 20% additional buyer stamp duty. For entities, meaning your corporation, your society, your partnership, who is buying a residential property, you will be charged a 25% additional buyer stamp duty from 6 of July 2018. Right. Uh, for developers out there, if let's say you're buying a piece of residential land for development or a on block, you'll be charged in addition to the 25% additional buyer stamp duty, you will also on top of that be charged a 5% a non-refundable additional buyer stamp duty by IRAS. All right, so that concludes how much each of the segments have to pay for the additional buyer stamp duty for purchasing of a residential property. If you are a first time home buyer, a first time residential purchaser, I think not much, right? Because um, the previous stand still say for Singaporean buying a first property, you are not being charged additional buyer stamp duty. For Singapore permanent residents buying your first property, you are only also being charged the old rate of 5%. And there is no change on this, right? I think this additional buyer stand duty do affect investor or people that want to buy a second property onwards, right? With the additional 5% uh, as compared to the old rates, definitely there are more charges to be taken into consideration when buying your investment property. 
All right, so how does this affect the property cost? One thing to take note for investors, right, both first time investor and also seasoned investor, the cash upfront that you have to need to purchase a residential property will now be increased because additional buyer stamp duty can only be paid up in cash and not CPF. So this is something that investors have to take note of and have to prepare for. Uh, probably during the decision making of the residential property purchase. All right, so everybody, why does this additional buyer stamp duty rate change happen? Right on July 5th, the government actually announced this change in the additional buyer stamp duty rate because, in an effort to cool the market in line with the economic fundamentals, official data shows that private home prices have risen to the highest point in the past four years, almost to the 2013 peak level with analysts predicting that prices could soon recover to the 2013 peak price level the government is monitoring the property market closely and we are very concerned that the property market are running ahead of the economic fundamentals we want to avoid a several correction later which will have a more destabilizing effect hence we are acting now to maintain a more stable and sustainable property market that's why you have the additional buyer stamp duty increase in order to cool the market in line with the economic fundamentals. All right, that's why it causes the increase in the additional buyer stamp duty rates and also the tightening of the loan to value by the finance ministry and the national development ministry in the joint statement with the monetary authority of Singapore. All right, so that's all for additional buyer stamp duty and I hope to see you on the next episode.